Hi there everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to create an audio boosted zone using Udon Sharp. Let's get straight into it. This is what I sound like normally in game. And this is what I sound like when I'm on the audio booster zone. Alright, let's get started. First, we're going to want to set up our audio booster zone area. So this is going to be the spot where our audio is going to be boosted when we step into it. So let's get started. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using Pro Builder. So first, I'm going to create a cube here. I'm going to our inspector. Just going to do some modifications on it here. Ideally, I would like to make this a 3x3 three three platform. You can do whatever you want, though. There we go. Now... The easy route of doing this to make our zone is to just duplicate this. You can do this by doing Control D. Move that up a little bit. Go into our face select and just grow the face a little bit. Right there should be fine. So what I'm going to do here is remove the mesh collider and put a box collider instead. I'm going to do is trigger and remove the mesh render so you can no longer see it, but it's still there. So this will be our display here kind of letting us know this is where the platform is we'll just go on ahead and make that green i'm going to rename this to booster plate and we're going to name this one booster trigger okay now we're going to need to add a udon behavior to this we're going to go into our component and do udon behavior so we're going to create a new program source for this Udon behavior. So let's go on over to our scripts. We'll do right click, create, VR chat, Udon, Udon graph program asset. We'll just name this booster. Let's do open Udon graph. Okay. Now, the first thing we're going to want to do, and we can go on ahead and just look at reference from our completed one here. We'll do open graph. So right here, we have an odd player trigger enter that connects to a block and it also connects to our set voice distance far and set voice gang so down here is the default values for vr chat so when our player exits that trigger zone we're going to want to reset their voice values back to default otherwise they're going to keep sounding loud or whatever values you set it to right here is the play player api bools they're going to be plugged into the instances and make sure you don't forget that so i'm going to show you how to do this in our actual graph of our own All right so we're going to do event on player trigger enter okay event on player trigger exit All right we're going to do block Let's go ahead and make another one. You can do this by Control D. Go ahead and plug it into here. You can do this whatever order you want. So if I do this correctly, I believe this is player API set voice distance far player API set voice gang there we go let's plug this into here we'll plug this into here don't forget to plug this into the instance slot perfect you can go ahead and duplicate this we'll do control c we're down here control v perfect if you look at our script here we can see that our voice distance far is set to 100 this is a very very big radius this is ideal for club worlds so let's say you have a dj who's playing some sounds through his microphone this will be able to reach most parts of the world your voice gang right here is set to 40 because this is going to be significantly louder i don't recommend going much higher than this as it will start to sound a little boosted i guess you could say just a little weird the default values here is 15 for the voice gang and 30 for the far. So we're going to head back onto our own script now that we have a reference. We'll go to our 
voice gain let's just set it to 40 set our voice distance to 100 go on down here this was 30 and this was 15 we're gonna hit compile all right let's go back into our scene view we'll go to our booster trigger and right here we're gonna want to drag and drop our booster script straight onto here and just like that it's got functionality let's go on ahead and check this in game so as you can see here this is my regular voice and now that i'm on the platform you can tell i am much louder all right that's all i have for you today I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or if you got stuck anywhere, please let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you. But other than that, have a great day.